Hey guys, my name is Jessie and I'm a beauty class facilitator at Sephora downtown Portland. I've actually been working for Sephora for around six years and I have must-haves when it comes to Sephora collection. I love all brands, but this is a makeup tutorial showing you my favorite staple Sephora collection products that you must try. Stay tuned. The first thing I'm gonna be using is the Sephora Collection Eye Mask, and the one I'm gonna be using is the pomegranate one. What you wanna make sure is that when you open this package, you shake it off a little bit so everything falls to the very bottom of the packet, and when you open it up, you just separate the little fiber and apply it to your eye area. The reason why I chose this eye mask is because it's a natural fiber as well, and it's also very rich in antioxidants, and it de -puffes. For my face moisturizer, I'll be using the Sephora Collection Moisturizer in Rose. I'm gonna be getting a little bit of this moisturizer with a cotton swab because I wanna avoid contaminating my moisturizer with anything that I have on my hands, and I'm gonna slightly press that moisturizer into the skin so I get that plump effect. I'm also going to be taking a little bit of the moisturizer into my neck and collarbones because I want to make sure they are looking very refreshed and hydrated. And I'm going to be using a matte foundation so I want to make sure that my skin is prepped and glowy before that foundation hits my face. So for my primer, I'll be using the mini size of the Sephora Collection Beauty Amplifier Afterglow Primer and Luminizer. Again, I want to make sure that my skin is very glowy before my matte foundation. And the good thing about this one is that it's infused with light reflecting pearls. So you get that natural glow without looking oily or cakey. And it's also a gel texture. For my foundation, I'll be using the Sephora Collection Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick in the color Oak. And the brush I'll be using is the number 47 brush from Sephora Collection to make sure everything blends evenly and looks perfected. The reason why I'm using this foundation is because it's a medium to full coverage. It's a buildable foundation as well. It also gets to have a natural finish. It's mostly matte, but if you prep it right, you will get a little bit of glow. And as you can see, I'll be tapping this foundation in my skin because I want to avoid any texture due to my dryness. I want to make sure that everything looks soft and smooth. I'm also going to be concealing a little bit of my chest area and of my neck area. Just because I get little red patches on my skin, I'll be making sure that everything gets to look even. I'm going to make sure that when I get my product, I'm just tapping my brush into my foundation because I don't want to add too much coverage to areas of the skin where I'll be having maybe necklaces or accessories. So a little bit goes a long way with this foundation. So to give a little bit of definition to my face, I'll be using the Sephora Collection Contour Blush Spice Market Blush Palette. So the shade I'll be using to softly define my cheeks is going to be the shade number three in the palette. And the brush I'm going to be using to apply this product is going to be the number 50 from Sephora Collection. I'm going to be starting applying this product on the top of my cheekbones. And it's because I want to make sure that everything looks natural. There's not an empty space. There's one thing I would like to say about this palette. This palette is amazingly pigmented. So make sure you take little by little and you build that up because this will give you that defined look without having to try hard or without having to apply many layers. So go little by little and make sure that you look flawless, even, and perfected. And as you can see, there's a big difference between one side of the face to another. So I'm going to do the same on the other side, making sure I'm picking little products as I go to give that soft, beautiful definition. You also want to make sure that you're tapping that brush so you get the excess out. And again, gently swiping the color. I'm also going to be applying this color on my jawline just to make sure that everything flows evenly and it looks natural. When you're applying this on your jawline, one of the tricks I like to add is go behind your ears. If you're wearing your hair up in a ponytail, it's going to be a great help when you get to blend that away behind your ears so it doesn't get to look out of place. I'm going to be using the number one color. This is the darkest color in this palette. And I'm just going to be taking the very tip of my brush and the littlest amount of it. And I'm just going to go gently onto the hollows of my cheek to make sure that it's giving a little bit of extra depth. I'm also going to be using the remaining of the product to shape a little bit my nose. And the reason why I want to do this is not to make it smaller, it's not to make it perkier, it's just to make it look like it belongs in the face. One of the things I love doing is using the same brush for almost everything in my look. So for this step, I'm just going to go ahead and swipe the excess off with a tissue to make sure that my brush is clean and ready to go. The shade I'm going to be using to highlight my skin is going to be shade number four. And I'm going to make sure that I'm getting a little bit of the product and I'm gently swiping it on the highest area of my face. I'm going to go to my cheekbones because I want to glow. I want to be like a little glazed donut. I'm also going to be applying this product on my collarbones and this shade 
As I said before, this shade is going to be great for even darker skin tones because it reflects very golden and beautiful. Like it's not as light as it seems it's very transformative when it comes to skin tone so you can use it if you feel like you're a little bit more tan by all means go ham with this product i'm also going to be applying this over my eyes just to make sure that it's giving it an extra pop of glow because as soon as i apply those liners this will look a little bit more romantic i'm also going to apply this a little bit on my cupid's bow just to make sure that i'm defining my top lip so when i apply my matte lipstick it just looks all even defined and perfect again this palette is very versatile and this is one of the must-haves that i love sharing but it's because you can do so much with it you can do your eyes your cheeks your contour your blush your definition your glow for my eyebrows i'll be using the sephora collection retractable brow pencil waterproof in rich chestnut the reason why I'm getting to use this pencil is because it's long wear, it's waterproof, and it's perfect to mimic hair strokes. So if you have full eyebrows like I have and you just want to create a little bit of definition and make them look fuller, this is going to be the perfect product for you. Just make sure that when you apply it, you apply it gently and you mimic the direction of the hair so it all looks even and defined. This eyebrow pencil comes with a wingtip comb. It's great to comb through hair. However, I want to make sure that I'm combing through my eye eyebrows and I'm making a little bit of like softening the color. So I'm going to be using a disposable mascara wand to make that happen. For my liner, I'll be using the Sephora Collection Long Lasting 12 Hour Wear Eyeliner in Fancy Violet. This is everything. This eyeliner is going to be very pigmented. It's also going to be waterproof and super precise. So if you're looking for that very polished look that is going to last all day, rain, sunny, any type of weather, this is going to be it. It also comes in a variety of colors. So if you want to get to venture around with different colors, by all means, go check them out. The way I start applying my eyeliner is by going from the very end, creating the wing and then connecting it to the rest of my eye. I have found out that it's easier for me to create my wing first and then go after my lash line. But if you think that it's easier for you to do your lash line and then go with the wing, you do you girl. So give it a try, practice it at home. If you feel like you need a little bit more help, come by the store, get a mini makeover and girl, we're gonna hook you up real quick. So to Thailand, I'll be using the Sephora Collection Eye Pencil to go in the color Fresh Violet. This little tiny cute little thing is going to be very creamy. It's also going to be great color payoff and it's great to tight line. And if you want to get to use it as a liner over your lash line to create a smoky eye, by all means you can. But this is my favorite product to create a little bit of depth. So my eyes looks all together with the purple on top and also inside the eye. So it doesn't create any separation when you put the lashes. The best way to tight line is by looking down on a mirror. I feel like if you look straight it's harder because you have to tilt your head back and by all means we want to avoid having to pull your lid upwards or stretch or tug we want to make sure that we're not touching those eyelids so just look down and it's going to be way easier and you're going to get to achieve that very quick i want to make this look a little bit more fun so i'll be using the sephora collection color for shadow liner in staying alive and one of the best things about this shadow liner is that it comes in different finishes but the one i'm using right now is matte with this one you can get to blend the way with your finger just make sure that it doesn't dry like apply and blend as you go because as soon as this baby sets this won't move you can also use this to define your waterline it's great to tight line it's very blendable and it's waterproof so make sure you give this one a try so to create a little bit of continuity with the wing i'm going to be using the angle brush from sephora collection number 22 and what i'm doing is i'm taking a little bit of color from the pencil and just swiping it under my wing and that's just going to make everything look a little bit more all together it's going to get to create a nice even and polished look without being too hard and without having a harsh stop I'm going to be doing this very same steps on the next eye. I just want to make sure that there is the same amount of product in each side. And also I'm going to look straight ahead in the mirror so I can make sure that everything flows together, that nothing is longer or nothing shorter. It's just all even. The next color I'm going to be using under my eyes is the Sephora Collection Color for Shadow Liner in gold. And as I was saying, this is going to be a different finish from the first one. This is actually a shimmery finish. And this gets to give me a little bit of more attention and softness to my eye as well. I'm going to be applying it on the very corners of my eyes to create a nice catch light. This is going to get to create a little bit of that flirtatious look. And then remember, it's a waterproof color. So girl, you can apply it anywhere and it's going to be there all day. 
Before applying my fake lashes, I'll be using the Sephora Collection Lash Craft Length and Volume Mascara. I love this mascara because it's very durable, it won't smudge, it won't smear, and it gets to be jet black, which gets to give me that intensity without having to apply too much. It also can be removed with warm water, so if you don't want to struggle with taking off your mascara, this is going to be perfect for you. And I'm going to get to repeat it on the next eye as well. I'm going to be applying this first on my bottom lashes because I want to make sure I give the dimension and that desired amount of darkness to my bottom lashes. But I'm also going to be applying a very little amount to the top. So when I apply my lashes, they get to stick together. So for my lashes, I'll be using the Sephora Collection False Eyelashes in the Model Crush. The reason why I'm using this is because I want to add a little bit of definition, a little bit of length, a little bit of volume. And I think this ones are perfect for that. And I usually love getting to apply lashes when I do my wing liner, but it's because I feel that my wing liner gets to take away a little bit of that length out of my lashes. So this is the best way to compensate for it. I'm going to be applying the lash craft once again on my natural lashes to make sure they are getting stick together with the false lashes so they look very natural and they look cohesive as well. So I'm going to go back to that contour palette I used in the very beginning. And as I was saying, it's very versatile. I'm going to be using this to contour my eyes. And the shade I'm going to be using for this is going to be the number one shade. And as I said, guys, these shades are very pigmented. So you want to make sure you take a little bit with your number 27 brush from Sephora Collection and you blend it inwards. So it gets to give a nice definition to the hollow of your eyes. I'm also going to be using that number four shade with my same crease brush. I'm going to be applying this color over my eyebrow bone, but it's because I want to make sure that it's highlighted and it's ready to go and it gives me a more uplifting look. So to define my lips, I'm going to be using the Sephora Collection Lip Liner to go in the color Fresh Melon. And one of the things I like showing when it comes to lining the lips, if you want to add a little bit of volume, just make sure you start from the cupid's bow. X marks the spot, so you want to make sure that you do the cupid's bow first and then you go from the outer corner in, connecting that line to the cupid's bow. So it gives a desire shape, it gives a little bit of roundness to the lips without getting to be exaggerated and it just gets to look more natural and soft. I also get to line a little bit inside the lip because I want to make sure that if my lipstick ever transfer I still have that lip liner on my lips that gets to give me a little bit of security when I get to um, have any mishaps while I'm drinking my coffee or anything that gets to transfer a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing on the very bottom and I'm going to go a little bit over my lip line. If you want you can get to smile. When you smile you get to truly see how straight your lines are and when you get to relax the lip everything looks a little bit better. So for my lips, I'm going to be using the Sephora Collection Lip Stories in the color First Class. This is one of my favorites because it's a matte finish. I'm a big fan of red orangey shades or just plain orange shades. I feel like it gets to enhance my skin color. It gets to make everything look a little bit more exciting. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to go over my lip liner. I'm going to get to blot my lips a little bit so I don't apply too much product. And I'm also going to go over my cupid's bow to make sure everything looks cohesive and everything gets to look a little bit more intensified. So to finish this look, I'm gonna make sure that I set my makeup with the Sephora Collection Beauty Amplifier Set and Refresh Spray. What I love about this product is I pretty much bathe in it. I just use it on my face to give it an extra glow. I use it on my body if I wanna get to look a little bit more dewy. So last but not least, I'm gonna be getting to polish my hair with some Sephora Collection Dry Conditioner. And this has a coconut scent. What I love about the dry conditioner is that it gets to give you a little bit more soft polish look. It hydrates, it takes away the unwanted excess oils while getting to polish any dry ends, any flyaways. It just gets to make everything look a little bit more hydrated and alive while you're getting to give a little bit of that extra soft clean look. And I'm going to spray it from the very top to the very end of my hair to just polish everything up. And I think I'm going to be ready to go, guys. So that was it. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you learned something new. Don't forget to share with us in the comments what are your favorite Sephora Collection products. Like and subscribe so you can be up to speed with this tutorial. So big kisses. See you soon, guys.